what were sort of your expectations of the program? I had no clue, okay, about the program. Um, I didn't have any real expectations. I thought it was more geared to uh, younger people, young young fathers and things like that. And being a, a older gentleman, I didn't know what I was what I was going to get out of it. But um, I knew my thought process was that I would try to get as much out of the program and then try to teach it to or give it to uh, younger people that I'm, a, uh, you know, I interact with. Program is very helpful, and I found out it could help anybody. Um, anybody, anybody that had a father, and we all had fathers, so there's something to be learned from for everyone. It helped me with some of my father issues, and helped me to be a better uh, father figure to the to the young people that are in my life, and the people that I'm associated with in church and at and uh, at home. There's a lot of little techniques that I've learned. Um, one of them is like accepting people, the younger generation, for the way they are. You know, I grew up in a different time, different generation, and um, a lot of things that I didn't realize that young people have gone through in their life that just didn't face me, didn't have any idea. And uh, some of the techniques about, you know, uh, speaking in calmer tones. I've been using that quite a bit. Speaking in calmer tones, you know, not getting too excited, you know, too worked up. Getting to understand their, their point of view, trying to understand where they're coming from. And not always trying to impose, you know, my, the way I was brought up. Because I can be very imposing, you know, because I think that was the right way. And so, you know, got to be more patient, more understanding. That's really the thing I picked up from the program. Uh, our group was a good group, okay? Uh, I liked the, the facilitators, um, and I, I liked the way our group interacted because uh, they actually opened up and they shared a lot of feelings and emotions that uh, you know men don't normally share with one another. And I thought our group was real good, and that, that's one of the reasons I, I really like this group. And I'm really sad to see it ending. <laughs> I, really, I really am. <laughs> so, well, I'd like to see see us build on the program, and I'd like to be part of that building because I think it's much needed in uh, in the community, and that can help. I mean, not just the black community, but all communities, and it would help. I help. Uh, I would say uh, bond men to be the people that we're supposed to be in this country, in this world. I think men are not um, where they should be. Especially in the black community, but with the uh, absentee of fathers in the family. I think the family is, is breaking down because of the lack of fathers in the family. I think that'd be a great idea, um, but it's gotta be more someone who the, the mentee is familiar with, you know, to get to know that person. That relationship has to be built before you can actually start mentoring somebody, you know. I think there has to be a bond between the mentor and the mentee. Even, you know, just going out, learning about each other, and uh, find out what he, what, uh, what he has to offer, what the mentor has to offer to the mentee. What is the mentee looking for? So that the, I think the matching process the mentee to the mentor has to be, you know, has to be done correctly. Otherwise, I don't think the program would uh, flourish. Okay, the 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 the, uh, the father just being a part of the child's life, whether you're with the the uh, mother of the child or not, you still can co-parent and do it effectively because the bottom line is the welfare and well-being of that child, and I think that's really important because. We have a tendency that when relationships break up, the child is, suffers from that. I just think that it should be a better, something that uses co-parenting, and teaches about co-parenting more. You know, I think that would be beneficial to everybody concerned. Same reason why Mother's Day is bigger than Father's Day. <laughs> because mothers have the children. 
okay? They have, they birthed the children, child. So therefore, it's the, the bond is stronger. And like I said, men are forgotten. They're forgotten. You know, they they, they grew strong and stuff like we don't have emotions, we don't have uh, hurts and uh, things like that. So that emotional part is the, the society in general is geared more towards women when it comes to emotions and child, children and stuff like that. You know, you very rarely see a, a father get custody of a child in a custody battle. Very rarely. Well, I think um, just being able to get together as fathers, you know. You know how they have, uh, they, you can get uh, just like programs like Nurturing Fathers where we get together and talk about being fathers. We talk about being husbands. We talk about being uh, significant others. You know, and the, what are some of the uh, the drawbacks, some of the obstacles, you know, to being better at it. And in group, set, in group settings, you get to share, you get to share, you get, you get other people's opinions, you get other people's problems. There's nothing better than to hear someone else testify or state about what they're going through that you might be going through and how they overcame what you are going through. And just that sharing, you know, when with men, as men, we don't share. We don't, you know, we don't open up the way we should to one another, you know, because we got pride and, you know, uh, that macho thing, you know, we don't want to seem vulnerable. Right. And once we seem vulnerable, we, f we feel, <laughs> we feel naked, I guess is the, <laughs> the word I want to use. We feel naked, you know, but we need to stop that and, you know, learn how to, get in touch with our feelings, get in touch with one another because there's no better um, thing than to have somebody else help you become a better person. Because that bond, just like uh, parent, uh, father, son, father, daughter bond, it can, it, uh, uh, that can happen with the men. Two men have a bond like that, you know, in sharing how to be better at the job of being a father. I, I wish we could get the energy. <laughs> I wish we could get the Nurturing Father program uh, out to as many people as we possibly can, especially to the younger people, the, the young fathers and things. And I would, I would, I wish I'd have been, I wish this program had been around when I was a father, when I was a young father. It would have helped me tremendously. You know, I thought I knew what I was doing, I did the best that I could, but I'm sure this program would have helped me be a better father.